I'm a Gemini, don't shoot me, don't shoot me. Vlogmas! Yeah. Okay, let's go. Hey, kings and queens, welcome back to my channel. It is your girl, Essence of Shay. Let's get started. I'm back, y'all. I'm back. Your girl is back. <laughs> Sickness. Boy, I tell you, when it comes, it comes like a thunder. But anyways, in this video, I will be talking about my 25 2018 resolutions, goals, things that I want to do in the new year. I picked 25 things that I really felt like it wasn't that hard for me to do, but it ha some of it had... Get, get, is going to give me some work. Does that make any sense? Some of it will give me some work. Don't forget to like, a comment, and subscribe to my channel. And I will see you guys in the next clip. <laughs> I, have, I have my list. Because I don't want to forget anything. Number one is to... And these are not in any specific order. It was just things I was writing down. So number one is I want to get a therapist. If you guys have been following me for a while, you guys know that I have gone through some things in my life. And in order for me... And I'm in this, this self-love journey and that's what I'm promoting. But um, you have to dig in deep to where things are coming from and not just surface level and sometimes family can be a little biased so they mean well when they want to help but they're not helping as much as like a professional will do <laughs> and um i like now that we're in an era where it's not really taboo to get a therapist or to talk about having a life coach or something so i want to get into the root of issues that i have and just like figure them out so i can be in a happier place in my life moving forward so that's number one number two is to stay more focused and motivated i tend to say oh i'm gonna do this i'm gonna do that and i go swinging and then when something doesn't work out how i want it say for instance youtube i can push out very as far as i think very good content content i can have all these supporters but then my numbers won't grow as fast as others and i'm just like i'm not left motivated anymore and i just kind of like move on if i feel if i sound weird i want to apologize i am going through the ending stages of having a flu. It's like the cold phase. So I'm a little nasally. So sorry. Just I want to stay more focused and motivated and get things accomplished. Number three is to just be more healthier. You guys saw my video before where I showed you my body before. And I think I'm going to um go a step more further than just being healthier i think i want to be a fitness model and not just like the bulky and you know a nice lean and have hips and stuff but if i set that and goal and that intention it will help me get there even more if i said i want to be a fitness model i want to work with nike and stuff like that there's a certain way that your body should look you know, and not just say, oh, I just need to be stick figure. But no, there's a certain way your body should look and it's not going to get to that exact way. But it will force me to be more healthier with how I live my life. Number four is to get 20,000 subscribers. Now, I reached my goal and I got 5,000 at the end of the year. But next year is go big or go big because we ain't going home so 20,000 subscribers and I need you guys' help in that let me know in the comment box below what type of videos you guys want to see in the year of 2018 baby 
Number five is work with major brands. This has been a goal of mine. And you guys know I want to put people in the lock community at a higher platform. And it goes even deeper than just locks, is dark skin beauties. I want to put us in a higher platform because I noticed that even even if it's people with locks, they still kind of, society still kind of drives um, more to uh, the lighter queens than the darker queens. And it's sad that they're separating us because queens together, we make a, a powerful punch, but they seem to gravi gravitate more to um, the lighter persuasion than the darker persuasion. You get what I'm saying? So I wanna, I wanna help push us to a bigger platform. Number six is to step up my fashion content. Before, I did a little fashion stuff here and there and I blogged about it on my blog. If you're not subscribed, go to www.essenceofshade.com and subscribe. But um, yeah, and then I kind of fell back because of financial reasons. I couldn't buy clothes and whatnot. And then it also it also um, put me in a, like, a bummer but then I realized that is what supposed to spark my creative juices even more. What I have and what can I recycle in different um, outfits because I love fashion, I love creation, creating things and all that stuff. So I wanna put that more into my video content, into my blog, my blog content, and to just my life in general. Number seven is to, I told you guys in my fitness video, is to cut off meat for at least three months. Like, so no red meat, no chicken. So it's just going to be more seafood um, and fish, uh, more of a pescatarian diet. Um, and I probably still have cheese and butter here and there, but um, I'm cutting out meat for three months once the new year starts. And then if everything goes swell and I don't feel like I need any um, after that, I'll push it um, to my birthday, which is in May. So let's see how that goes. Get, send all that positive energy my way. Um, number eight is to not take everything personal. I'm a very, very, very sensitive person I heard that's just just what Gemini's are and if you guys don't know I'm a Gemini don't shoot me don't shoot me I'm a Gemini and we're very sensitive creatures and I tend to take things very personal even if it's not even intended to be that way that's how I take it so I need to work on that I need to work on that um, number nine is to get a thousand um, newsletter subscribers. Newsletter subscribers are people that go over to my blog www.essenceofshay.com and click that um, subscriber newsletter button and it just shows me that people are actually going to my blog and they're interested in what I'm reading. So that means that I need to put out interesting content and not just nothingness. That other people do things with some substance number 10 is be happy and more and involve and more involved with myself the key of self-love number one is to be happy with yourself actually being happy with yourself like you and you alone are sitting in the room and you're happy with that person that you're with which is you Take in more time out of the day to just make yourself happy. Whatever that is, getting your hair done, getting your nails done, going to the gym, going to me, I like to go to the MoMA or the African History Museum or that big museum over there by Central Park. I love doing stuff like that and going to the Egyptian sex section and just sitting there and drawing. I like going to painting classes. I love traveling. I love all these things, but I haven't been doing those things. I haven't been putting my myself as a priority and making myself happy so I'm going to that is a goal of mine for 2018 and beyond these goals are not are set for 2018 but we're gonna push them push them beyond right number 11 is to not be afraid to to be vocal about things to friends um, you guys know that I'm a well I still am but not, uh, 
excessively a people pleaser and one thing with me is if friends do something I'm so afraid of losing them that I won't um, speak my mind about how they have hurt me I'm quick to apologize for if I feel like something is wrong or I'm quick to feel like if something is going on between me and the friend maybe I did something and not thinking like no maybe you did something and I feel like you did something and speaking to you about it and letting you know like look you really hurt me or you made me feel like I'm always afraid to vocalize how I feel in a friendship and I'm not gonna do that anymore because I notice when you do stuff like that people walk all over you and they feel like they can continue to do things that is no bueno no bueno so I'm gonna vocalize myself a little bit more with my friends and not in a negative rude way because that's just not me unless I'm really mad but just like in a positive like stern way and if you're really my friend you will get it and if you know that you're hurting me you like you'll fix it and if you're you don't care is chuck it up to deuces 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 chuck it up to deuces Yay. Sorry. <laughs> Number 12 is to travel more. Let me tell y'all something. On my Facebook page, like a few years ago, and even earlier on my Instagram, every minute Shayna was on a plane, like no lie, every minute I was on a plane, somebody always was like, Shay, where you going now? Where you going? And even if it was to Florida or when my parents were living in the Virgin Islands, like I was still traveling. And for some reason, I just stopped. Finances, yes, but you, 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 that can't always be a reason as to why you don't do the things you want to do. Like money is a big reason, but you can always work around it. Meaning like you can save, you know, you want to go on a trip in February. You can save money for that trip little by little to get there. You don't have to go to big extravaganza trips. You could just meet Atlantic City is right there. I could just take a couple days and go to Atlantic City and just clear my mind. You know, Poconos is right there. I could just go and I, I don't know if I'll be skiing. I don't know if I'll be doing that. 13 is to get out the house more. I have become such a, a what you call it, a house body. I've never been like that before, but I noticed that I've been doing that a lot more for the past few years. I just need to get out the house, god damn it. Like, I'm getting cabin fever. 14 is to cook more. Number seven is, um, number 15 is to save at least, uh, save more money. I have a number here. I'm not going to say what the number is, but my goal is to save that by the end of the year. It's important to save money, folks, because you never know. You might lose your job. Um, you might need to help family out. You might become backed up with bills. Whatever it is, you just need to save your funds. Number 16 goes to something that I said earlier, but it's to stop being so sensitive. With the drop of a hat, your girl could cry. The drop of the hat. Some, it, it, somebody could be telling me something that I know is beneficial to me, but it hurts me to the core that I just... <sighs> 17 is only cry for good things now. This is deep because the past few years I've been crying more for bad things than good things in my life. So I want that, whatever that means, I need to figure out what that is and not bring it into my life anymore. Because crying, especially negative wise, sucks so much energy out of you it's ridiculous it's absolutely ridiculous um number 18 is to do more makeup tutorials because i actually enjoy doing makeup and my thing is is that you see all these other big gurus out there and it makes you feel a little subconscious or you'll have a few people if you put up a video they'll come under your page and be like uh that's ugly but then you go click on their page they ain't even got no videos up but the little 
birds out there, you know, they just, they live to speak negativity on people's lives. You feel what I'm saying? But whatever. I want to start doing more makeup tutorials because you guys have been actually loving and enjoying the makeup looks that I come on camera with. So I'm going to stop being afraid and actually start doing these videos. 19 is to read more books. The more bountiful of lives read a lot of books. They enrich your mind. Not just sitting in front of the TV watching Love and Hip Hop. I mean, this is entertaining, but a nice old book with a cup of ginger tea. 20. I love myself more. You guys, you just love on yourself. Take care of yourself, man. 21 is to avoid processed food. This goes into what I said earlier about being healthy and cooking more. Just avoiding that McDonald's and avoiding that Burger King. Avoiding that $7.99 special at Pizza Hut. Two toppings. Avoiding it. 22, stop dwelling on the past. Let the past go so you can move on to a brighter, brighter future and it open, it allows more opportunities and it opens doors up for you. Let the past go. It is easier said than done. Trust you me. Trust you me because I'm still practicing that. But we have to let the past go goal you have to forgive yourself you have to forgive others my mom was telling me this even more the other day and she was right i tell myself this all the time but i, I am i actually practicing it but this time i will i have to let these things go and that starts with forgiving myself i have to i have to i have to that goes into number three thinking more positively. I have people around me that when they sit down and they talk about the things that go on in their life and I just sit down sometimes I just want to shake them like bro bra sis king queen I get it life is hard I get it stuff happens to me too but sitting there always always talking negatively over your life the universe is hearing you and it's going to throw that negative ball right back in your face. Let it go, Dread. <laughs> like, you, you can't be so consumed with negativity 24-7. Do you know how draining that is? Do you know? Do you know? Number 24, once again, is to eat better. I could avoid the processed food. I could cook more. I can make healthier choices. Sure. 25 is to be more thankful. Be more thankful. Be more thankful. Gratitude. Gratitude. Thank you for opening the door for me. Thank you for my cup of ice from McDonald's for 30 cents. Y'all be bugging. It's ice. But thank you. Thank you for watching my videos. Thank you for always clicking that subscribe button. Have you clicked it? Thank you for this shirt, coffee, bean, and tea leaf. I don't even work there no more, but it showed me how to make a good latte art. I could do a little swirl. Thank you for all these YouTube tutorials that show me how to wrap my hair. Thank you. Thank you for my mom. Thank you, God, for giving me life. Just be thankful. You know how much times people take those little things for granted? Have gratitude and it will come back to you. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comment box below what are the things that you are thankful for. Also, in the comment box below, let me know what are your goals for 2018 and really think about them don't just do little, little mundane things oh i just want to lose weight oh i want to like be really like sit down with your thoughts and think about what you really want to accomplish and change or 
want to enhance in the new year coming up i love you guys so much for watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i will see you guys tomorrow see you later tiger lilies uh, crash course let me hide the money in the dashboard Max mad, could you lost the brick inside the Porsche? Goofy with the curb, then asking me for intercourse. I'm sorry, but you're lost. I'm sorry, but I'm lost.